Hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Yeah, they're finding out some kind of truth. What I'm feeling like here, Collective, honestly, is uh, somebody's, uh, there's a group of feminine energies out here that are happy that they got in the way of this connection, okay? I've got to say it right now. They're happy about it. They're celebrating it. And your person, I feel like they're realizing a big truth here about who it is they're actually with. Um, they're feeling really stuck in a situation. I feel like they could have gotten committed, married to somebody um, here, one of these three feminine energies, okay? Um, but they actually, it's almost like they wanted to make you an offer. And they're realizing now, and this is a sudden, horrible realization of the kind of character um, in the person that they chose, okay? Uh, yeah, they're realizing that they intentionally kept this person away from you. And they're committed, I feel, to this person, to this karmic. I feel like it's a group of darker feminine energies is really what I'm feeling like here. And they're actually, like, celebrating the demise of this connection. Okay? They're celebrating the fact that um, they, this masculine feels like they can't come towards you now. Because they got committed to this person. I don't know. They've been under some kind of illusion. I feel like they're just, this is a, I feel like it's a sudden realization. I got to say. And they're angry. They may feel very angry about this, but um, they haven't been wanting to confront something here. It's almost like these group of feminines may be holding something over this person's head. You know, they've done some things in the past that they're trying to protect here, um, is the feeling that I'm getting. Like, they don't, I feel like they, yeah, they're burdened here by this. They're burdened by this. I feel like these, this feminine group, this dark energy um, here, it's a group of feminines that have been, holding something, I feel like holding something over this person's head, things that they know, maybe they're, uh, they've been threatening to gossip, spread it around, spread their lies around, and it's just showing this person the real, the real true side of whoever they chose over you, it's showing them, oh my gosh, I'm with a karmic, that's, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a sudden realization, but I feel like they're trying to I keep some kind of secret here, I feel. They're trying to keep something a secret. Yeah, look, all the illusions are down. I'm telling you, they can see everything clearly now. Because they're, it's like they're, these three were plotting against this person like this whole time. Celebrating the fact, too, that they're heartbroken. Okay, they're celebrating it, okay? In front of this masculine, like they... They don't care. They're like, woohoo! You know, we kept this connection apart. Yay! You know, woohoo! We're going to tell all your secrets if you don't do what we want, right? I feel like they got committed to this person already before they saw the truth. You know, you could be dealing with a, a Leo Aries Sagittarius because I'm feeling it heavy out here. And um, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe a Scorpio. But yeah, all the illusions are down. You know, they could even be finding out about some kind of spell work here, too, um, that kept them under some kind of illusion. They may have heard something from somebody else about I don't know. It, it, they, they could even already be spreading this person's gossip around. Like, I mean, whatever secrets they're, they're here, they're, I feel like they're standing to defend whatever they've done to protect so, you know, so that the secret doesn't get out, right? But I feel like they're being, they were threatened or the secret's already coming out. They're, they're seeing that this was a connection um, that 
it didn't come together because these three kept them apart from you. But they actually chose to get married to this person. Not, yeah, they're angry. They're really, really, really angry. And they're seeing you here as the abundant one. Um, you're the only one in all of these people who are actually glowing, okay? So you're out here having a glow up. I feel like this person, um, they tried to cover you up. Maybe they tried to make people believe that they didn't care about you as much as they did. Or this could even be, to me, like just not even wanting to revisit this. Hold on just a second. There we go. Yeah, um, but now they see everything clearly. Yeah, look at this, man. Oh, they missed out on their chance at the one for them. <gasps> oh, this is what they're crying over, collective. This, they missed out on their happiness. They missed out on the one for them. They see you as their match. They wanted this new beginning. They know it would have made them happy. Look at this person. Oh my gosh. As soon as they realize this, it's like, oh no. Yeah. A sudden realization. Look at this. That they've been betrayed. Oh my gosh. And they wanted to get back together with you. You're all this person focuses on. I have to say, you're all that they focus on. You could be dealing with a Pisces, an Aquarius, a Leo. You could be um, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe a Pisces or a Leo. Yeah, they're realizing, man, that they've been betrayed bad. They've been betrayed right out of a beautiful connection with you. I feel like they got married to somebody else. Now they're realizing the kind of devilish person that they got married to. Um, they were duped. They were, they were tricked. I'm telling you, they were tricked. Or something, or threatened into staying. Clarify this Ten of, of Wands and this Nine of Wands, please. What's going on with that? I just feel like... Clarify this. They could be with a fire sign. Yeah, I feel like this. I feel like this is the person who threatened them. Um, they could be with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, maybe, or just a Queen, queen of Wands energy. I, I normally I, I would consider this possibly as the other person in the situation. Okay, and I feel like it's all because you wanted. Um, you want the, or sorry, they wanted a new beginning with you. Um, the earth angel. And I feel like um, this queen of swords feels very jealous and envious. I, they're envious and jealous of you for sure. But yeah, this person wanted you collective. You're the one out here having a glow up. You're attracting the attention of a lot of people right now. You're beautiful, gorgeous. Um, a, an empath, a healer, a spiritual teacher. You're a guide for other people and you're putting yourself out there looking and just being amazing, okay? Uh, they're in a lot of regret, man. You're in the public eye, perhaps. Just on a total glow up, an earth angel energy. So whoever they were with was very jealous Um this, there's this competition feeling here with this person. Like they were competing, trying to compete with a star. How do you do that? You know, they were trying to compete with an earth angel here. They could have pretended to be a divine feminine. Okay? They could have, that could have been the illusion. They could have been trying to pretend to be a divine feminine. But you're the star out here. You're this person's wish, too. Um, it's clear for everybody to see. The divine has put you in the public eye somehow for a reason. So whatever you're posting out there on the internet or whatever you're doing in the public eye, um, you pour healing energy into everything, okay? Yeah, this person's in a lot of regret here. Now they realize... Whoever they chose, yeah, see, I feel like um, 
Well, they could be, let's, let's just clarify that one. But whoever they chose over you, it didn't have any love in it, and they turned their back on their true soulmate connection. They realize this now. Clarify this Queen of Swords. Yeah, justice. I feel like you're getting, you're getting some kind of, hey, you know what? I'm still not comfortable with this being your energy, I gotta say. I'm kind of getting the feeling like it's this other person's energy. Or they've been with a couple different people. Yeah, this Queen of Swords, I feel like that's somebody else here. I feel like this is whoever they've been with that way. The justice or revenge is really what, I, what I'm hearing now. Um... It almost seems like they wanted some kind of justice or revenge for this person betraying them. They felt backstabbed because they know this person wants to come towards you. That two of cups that they turn their back on, that's these two of cups here. And they know that this person wanted to make you an offer in love. They know it. But your person allowed for this karmic to get in the way of this connection. They allowed it. They were under an illusion that this is what they were supposed to do. This karmic, I feel like, pretended to be a divine feminine, put this person under some kind of illusion. For some of you, there was spell work done, some kind of illusion spell, I don't know. And now they're seeing everything clearly now. It's, it's obvious. Okay, so put yourself where you need to here, because um, I'm dealing with so many different people, okay? But yeah, whoever this person has been with, in a commitment, okay, a full-on commitment, that person wants revenge, and they're doing, or they see it as justice, okay? They see it as justice, but they're... They're um, threatening this masculine that they're going to tell all, okay, spread it around, right? They could even be finding out from somebody else that they, this is actually confirming it. They're ha it's happening. Um, they've got complete and utter clarity here, a sudden realization of who you are and who they've been with. They're in a lot of regret. They've been wanting to come towards you, but they got committed to this karmic. Oh, man. Yeah, they, they may feel very stuck, but they're also taking ten swords in the back because they were very betrayed. They were duped. They were duped. Tricked. And then kept there. And then threatened. You know, threatened not like, you know, physically threatened, but this karmic threatened to tell this person's deep, dark secrets. Yeah, all this person do, is doing is watching you. That's all they're doing is what, look at, you're in the spotlight. You are in the spotlight, whoever I'm talking to here. Um, you're beautiful, absolutely stunningly beautiful. You're receiving messages from the divine. You're spiritually led. Um, you're a very abundant. You're single, gorgeous, independent. Um, like you're the main catch here. You're the, you're a, that turns people on. Okay. Um, yeah, it makes you even more attractive when you're independent and focused on you and your come up, right? Cause that's what this is really. You've got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in the deck is 10. That 10th pentacle that you don't have yet. That one stands for a soulmate connection standing at your side and a full-on commitment with the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So, um, yeah, you, you're single out here, and you're, you're so focused on you and working so hard on whatever it is that you're growing that it's, you're just so attractive to other people. And you're putting yourself out there in the public eye. This is what this person is thinking about. They're about to lose you to somebody else. Yep, bottom of the deck. They're about to lose you to somebody else. It's in any minute now. You're going to have people like fighting over you. You may already have people fighting for your attention. Okay, competing for your attention. 
And that puts this person in a competition. And I feel like their health, their looks have way changed. Okay? I feel like at, when you were with this person, they looked like this. It's been years now, I think, for a lot of you. And they started turning gray. They started kind of like being slouchy because they're sad. They're not happy. And now look at them. All gray, growing a beard. So this person's looks have changed. Their vitality, has, their vitality for life has changed. Okay? Because you haven't been in their life. It's your energy here. And, and they long for you. They do. They long for you. Okay? Six of Cups, man. They know you gave them nothing but unconditional love. They know that you were um, innocent in all of this. And most of all, this person realizes you had no bad intentions for them and you would have never hurt them the way they got hurt and duped in this relationship that they're in. You would have never done that to them. And yet, you know what? They didn't know what they had when they had it. They weren't serious. They were non-committal. They toyed with you. They lied to you. They betrayed you. They had in and out energy and they may have even talked about you behind your back and you didn't deserve any of it. And you ended up being, lo and behold, the one who wouldn't have hurt them the way they've just been done by this karmic. Yeah, they're in a lot of regret. This is all they can think about. It's a, you are all they can think about. This could be your divine masculine, divine feminine. Take it how it resonates. You could be dealing with, we got heavy Virgo out here. We've got Gemini. This is a decision that they had in love. Okay. They had a choice to make in love. And I feel like this person totally blew it. They totally blew it. They had a chance at the best thing they've ever, they could have ever thought of in their life. All of that love, right? Unconditional love, which would have led to a lot of abundance too. You know, yeah, man. And now they want to apologize to a Queen of Cups. I feel like that's your energy collective. Um, you could be a Virgo. You could be an Aquarius. Um, you could be a Libra, possibly a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, Sagittarius. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. And now this person wants to come and apologize to you, but you've got your back turned. I don't think you're focused on them. You're focused on your spiritual journey. See, this cup, look at how decorative this cup is. Okay, it's more ornate and decorative than any other cup in the deck. And what's the love and um, in this cup is like no other. The Queen of Cups, she, her, her MO is love. She loves the best, right? But if you look at this cup, it looks like the Ark of the Covenant. And, and what's in this cup isn't just love, it's your spirituality. It's everything that you believe in at a soul level. It's your faith your intuition, the messages you get from the divine. It's, uh, it's everything spiritual. I'm getting the chills up both of my thighs, man. That's a weird feeling. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's everything in that cup. And I feel like you're a very spiritual being. You're a light worker, a star energy, a divine feminine. Okay. Yeah, they missed out big. Um, and now this person wants to come back in and apologize. They want to apologize. Okay, what else can you show me here? Yeah, I mean, basically, the gist of this reading is that this person was duped, and they know it. Their eyes are wide open. They see it all clearly now. They know the energy of the person that they got with, okay? 
and um, they may have been, you know, this uh, this karmic could have been threatening to tell this person secrets. Yeah, look, I'll, I'll prove it to you. There's that Ace of Cups. You've always been the blessing. You've always been the blessing. Okay? Um, and look, is this cup, yes or no, is it or is it not more decorative than this one? Mm-hmm. Does it look, it looks like the Ark of the Covenant, doesn't it? Yeah, no one loves like the Queen Cups, and you were the blessing in love. And when this person had a chance at that blessing in love, hold on, I'll prove it. Oh, here it is. When they had a chance at that blessing, they pretty much spit in the cup and tossed it to the curb. There's the cup, the one with the water in it, right here. There it is, that one there on the bottom. That's this Ace of Cups. They took that blessing and they gave it to somebody else, this karmic, and they got nothing but blood and sand. And now they're realizing they turned their back on the true soulmate. This Two of Cups right here. Telling you. I'm telling you. So yeah, they're, they're fully realizing that you're this blessing in love. Um, they want this blessing back. And this person is coming in to apologize to you. Now, you may not even want to listen to them because I feel like you think this person is very immature because they've been immature with you in the past. Um, but they just got duped by someone else. I, honestly, um, yeah, they're, they're going to come forward here. And this could be your twin flame, but I have to say the biggest red flag for me is how quick it happens. They go from being absolutely betrayed, realizing that they chose something toxic over you, and then they snap back around to come and apologize. This person's not doing any of their healing in between. And that to me is a massive red flag. It always has been. So I have to call it out. Okay? Um, yeah, they, I feel like this person may need to take some time to get their balance and to heal. The Two of Pentacles was on the bottom of the deck. But um, I feel like they're coming in quicker than... They're coming in quicker. They're, they're just coming in fa too fast to have any time to do their healing and the work on themselves. So they may be coming in fairly immature still. Okay, just so you know, and pretty hurt and upset and carrying burdens from their last karmic situation. Now think about that. All right, so use your intuition. Okay, collective. All right, give me one more on this. Ooh, oh, I almost caught it. <laughs> Yeah, they're, and not only are they going to be burdened by the hurt um, from being tricked here and put under an illusion in this karmic situation, but they're also going to be burdened financially. This person could have financial issues. They could have health issues at this point. They're unable to get any opportunities under all of the snow. They may even need a place to live. They may not be able to pay their bills. I mean, you name it. We don't know, really, on the Five of Pentacles. We don't know. It could be all of the above. So they need to heal from this. I mean, they could have been with this, um, this Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands energy for up to six years. You know, they want that new beginning with you, but I feel like this person, that that would be... I mean, I have to tell you what I see about the red flags. This person's not taking much time to heal. Okay? Just so you know. All right? Take it how it resonates. <laughs> but that's my job is to show you what I'm feeling. Okay? Um, all right. Let's see. Yeah. But, yeah, they're coming towards you. They're, this, they're taking that leap of faith anyway. Now, this is something that they do very quickly. It's an impulsive move forward, right? They are coming towards you and you're in Empress energy right now. You're in Empress energy. Every queen in the deck. 
possibly a boss business owner you've leveled up in your life you could be living quite comfortably right now taking good care of yourself focused on you everything that you're building you're very abundant you're secure you're independent and you're high vibing and this person they're going to take a big risk and an impu make an impulsive move and come towards you for a new beginning okay um I feel like they're going to apologize and tell you they've been a fool, but you may see this person as a fool. You may see this person as being immature. You're going to be using your intuition. You may not say anything at all. You may just um, listen to everything that they say and notice, like, look for the red flags. Is this person ready to be with an empress? Or are they just acting a fool um yeah it, i i feel like this person still needs to do some work on themselves okay and i feel like you're gonna see that too but the choice is going to be yours collective i mean i feel like the ball is in your court but this person is about to skippity doo da right towards you they're coming towards their empress All right, give me one more for the collective. You're their wish fulfillment. Yeah, they know what they want. This is a masculine who knows what they want, and they're coming towards you. They've gotten their clarity. I told you, we started the reading like that. They've got their clarity in the situation now. Yeah, so get ready, Collective, because this person on the bottom of the deck, they don't want to let you go. They're not about to let you go. So they're kind of, I feel like it's sort of rushing in a little bit, okay? It's kind of like a rushing back to you, all right? Um, but that doesn't mean that they've healed from whatever they've been through. And, you know, use your intuition, High Priestess. Use your intuition, Divine Feminine, okay? And uh, look for the red flags with this person. 